हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अभिषेक कुमार सिंह इन द लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द बेसिक ऑफ आईसी इंजन सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम देयर एंड दिस विल बी द इंजन कंपोनेंट पार्ट दैट प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव अपलोडेड वाज क्लासिफिकेशन अबाउट द ऑटोमोबाइल दैट एक्सटर्नल कंबसन इंजन इंटरनल कंबसन इंजन फ्रॉम देयर आई विल बी स्टार्ट विद द बेसिक्स ऑफ आई सी इंजन एंड देयर आई विल फर्स्ट क्लासीफाई अबाउट द ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट एंड आई विल एक्सप्लेन द फंक्शन ऑफ ईच पार्ट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so i have drawn a engine component here so let me first uh, nomenclature it uh, all the parts see this is your cylinder this is your cylinder this is your piston this is your piston this is your connecting rod connecting rod connecting this is your this this part is your crankshaft crankshaft this is your crank crank this is connecting of this is a gurgeon pin g u r g u n gurgeon pin so let me explain you the part uh, each by each uh, first is your uh, crankshaft what does crankshaft does is it converts the reciprocating motion of the piston into a rotary motion that is you get the piston fire uh, the power uh, power takes place here and the piston moves down and it converts through a crankshaft into the rotary motion and let me tell you one thing that the top part till which the piston will go is your called top dead center and the lowest point till which till which uh, it can reciprocate is called your bottom dead center so here this is a top part which till which the piston can go this is your called top dead center and let's say the part the lowest part it can go is your uh, bdc your bottom dead center so it will reciprocate between these two part only another thing is your this is called inlet manifold and this is your exhaust manifold there is your valve the inlet valve the exhaust valve now see uh, i am telling you the difference between the petrol and diesel see if it is a petrol you will be having a spark plug here but if it is a diesel you will be having a injector for timing just understand in a spark in a uh, in a petrol engine there is a spark plug and in diesel engine there is injector when i will teach you the difference between diesel and petrol that time i will tell why spark plug is required in petrol and why injector is required in diesel engine so i hope this uh, creates a clear picture in your mind now let me tell you some part uh, something about this from top dead center to bottom dead center the length in which it reciprocates is called your stroke length sorry it's called stroke only stroke and the diameter of the cylinder is called your bore stroke and bore so on basis of this two part there is one classification of engine see if your bore and your stroke this is called bore this is called stroke length of a stroke if both are equal that means if ratio is 1 it is called square engine but if your length uh, if your diameter is greater than your length of the that is stroke it will be called a over square engine like if diameter is greater means the ratio is greater than 1 then it is called your over square engine similarly if diameter is less than length that is uh, in the other way you can say that the length of the stroke is greater than diameter that means if length is greater that is ratio will be less than 1 it is called under square engine i hope uh, on basis of these two parameter that is your bore and that is and one is your stroke you can classify engine into two uh, into three parts that is your uh, square engine over square engine and under square engine now uh, uh, this is your inlet valve inlet valve and this is called your exhaust exhaust valve now i told you that in case of a uh, petrol engine there is a spark plug if it is a petrol engine then you will be having a air plus fuel mixture okay now uh, there are four important terms that i would like to uh, tell you all regarding the engines uh, first is your 
फर्स्ट लेट मी फर्स्ट इज युअर स्वेप्ट वॉल्यूम एस स्वेप्ट वॉल्यूम सेकेंड इज युअर इंजिन कॅपॅसिटी थर्ड इज युअर क्लिअरन्स वॉल्यूम अँड फोर्थ इज युअर कॉम्प्रेशन रेशियो प्लीज पे अटेन्शन बिकॉज दीज फोर इम्पॉर्टंट कॅरेक्टरिस्टिक यू मस्ट नो फॉर एनी काइंड ऑफ इंजिन सी फर्स्ट इज युअर स्वेफ्ट वॉल्यूम व्हाट इज स्वेफ्ट वॉल्यूम स्वेफ्ट वॉल्यूम इज अ वॉल्यूम बिटवीन द टी डी सी अँड बी डी सी ऑफ दी पिस ऑफ दी सिलेंडर लाईक युअर पिस्टन ट्रॅव्हल्स टू टी डी सी अँड बी डी सी द टोटल वॉल्यूम दॅट इट कवर्स इज कॉल स्वेफ्ट वॉल्यूम फॉर एक्झाम्पल इट ट्रॅव्हल्स फ्रॉम हेअर टू हेअर सो सिन्स इट इज अ सिलेंड्रिकल सो स्वेफ्ट वॉल्यूम विल बी युअर पाय बाय फोर डी स्क्वायर इन टू एल डी इज युअर बोर अँड एल इज युअर स्ट्रोक सो दिस इज कॉल स्वेफ्ट वॉल्यूम द नेक्स्ट इज युअर इंजिन कॅपॅसिटी इंजिन कॅपॅसिटी इज युअर टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ द इंजिन इट कॅन बी इफ इट इज अ सिंगल सिलेंडर दॅन इट्स इंजिन कॅपॅसिटी इज सेम ॲज द स्वेट वॉल्यूम इफ इट इज इज थ्री सिलेंडर इंजिन द टोटल कॅपॅसिटी विल बी द स्वेट वॉल्यूम दॅट इज स्वेट वॉल्यूम इन टू नंबर ऑफ सिलेंडर नंबर ऑफ सिलेंडर फॉर एक्झाम्पल वॉल्यूम ऑफ वन वन सिलेंडर इज युअर टू फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर क्यूब Uh, mind it that the unit of the engine capacity is centimeter cube you might be seeing that when you are buying bike like pulsar you buy pulsar 150 cc do you have a thought that what is the meaning of cc it is called centimeter cube it is a measurement unit of your engine how much volume it contains of the mixture after the mixture containing in the cylinder is called your cc now uh, for example like uh, here you get 250 uh, cc as your one as a volume of one cylinder so if there is three cylinder multiply it by 3 and you get 750 as your total 750 cc then that is you tell my car is 750 cc that means and it is if it is having three cylinder that means per cylinder you are having a uh, 250 cc of volume swept now these two are the important things now next comes your clearance volume and compression ratio uh, clearance ratio uh, clearance vo- volume and compression ratio is the most important term that defines your efficiency also so in order to understand this let me draw one picture like this is your cylinder and for example your piston is at bdc and in another layout your the your this is your cylinder and your piston is at tdc for let this one be v1 total volume and when the piston is at tdc the volume will v2 so what is clearance volume clearance volume is the volume when your piston reaches top dead center and the extra space that it has Uh, uh, above the top dead center is your clearance volume so v2 v2 is your clearance volume that means when piston is reaching the top and there is one there is some space for spark uh, the, for inlet valve exhaust valve spark plug small space that is left above the top dead center is called your clearance volume and uh, when the piston is at down the total volume of the cylinder is your called your, that is v1 is a total volume now what is compression ratio compression ratio is your total volume divided by this volume that is the clearance volume that is compression ratio is your total volume by clearance volume i can define this in more precise term as see total volume includes your clearance volume also that is between the top dead center and the bottom dead center this is called your compression uh, this is uh, clearance volume v1 v2 sorry and this is your stroke volume that is called your swept volume this is the volume swept because it is moving between tdc and bdc now the compression ratio can be defined as v1 by v2 that is total volume by clearance volume and what is the total volume total volume can be written as the swept volume plus clearance volume by clearance volume so this is called this is your 
डेफिनेशन ऑफ योर कॉम्प्रेशन रेशियो कॉम्प्रेशन रेशियो प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन डिसाइडिंग द इफिशियंसी ऑफ आइदर पेट्रोल और डीजल इन केस ऑफ पेट्रोल इंजिन देर इज स्लाइटली लेस कंप्रेशन रेशियो एज कम्पेयर टू डीजल इन डीजल यू विल भी हैविंग हायर कंप्रेशन रेशियो एंड इन पेट्रोल देर इज कंप्रेशन रेशियो वेर इज बिटवीन सिक्स टू टेन बट इन केस ऑफ डीजल इट्स ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी वन ऑलमोस्ट सो लेट मी टेल यू वाई इट्स ई हायर इन केस ऑफ अ डीजल इंजिन सी दिस पार्ट इज योर क्लियरेंस द मोर यू रीज द पिस्टन अप द लेसर द वैल्यू यू गेट so what happened in case of now it will be difficult to understand because i have not told the working principle of diesel but then also i am telling you in diesel engine you compress air the more you compress the air the smaller the volume you get here that means you get a small volume here if so if this is decreased so if this is decreased your clearance ratio increases clearance ratio increases your efficiency increases so in case of diesel engine uh, you have the higher clearance ratio so diesel if engine has the highest your uh, efficiency so this was all about your uh, engine uh, sweat volume engine capacity clearance volume and your compression ratio now this was the basic uh, now i'll be drawing the layout uh, means engine layout how engine is kept Uh, engine can be kept in many ways like the location can be i type v type w type flat type also so let us see one by one what is the uh, how this is kept in the car so uh, first is your i layout second is your flat third is your v layout and last is your w layout see uh, if you are getting like i i4 or i6 ya v8 ya v uh, v6 ya v8 ya w16 see uh, these this part that is 4 6 6 8 16 denotes the number of cylinder that means how much cylinder is having in your engine like one cylinder two cylinder three cylinder this number denotes the number of cylinder in your uh, vehicle and this is the configuration that is it is like i i means it is in simple line like this is your engine and i form like uh, i shape straight and four uh, four cylinder this is the meaning of i4 i6 means you are having a straight 2 3 4 5 6 this is called i layout what happens in flat layout you have like uh, you have even distribution like one engine one piston is there second third fourth the next layout is your v v layout is like in i layout you, you keep it straight your piston is in same line in v layout what happens is your crankshaft is there and the piston is in v shape means three piston here three piston here for example v6 is there that means it can be 1 2 3 1 2 3 means six in a in a v shape v8 means 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 means eight four here four here eight cylinder and in w also like w shape is like this so it can be uh, w shape will be like w16 means four here 1 2 3 4 Uh, actually it's impossible to draw a 3d diagram so you can see here like like it will be in w shape like this 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 like 16 cylinders are there so uh, let me tell you uh, where these are used w16 is used in your uh, bugatti veyron one of the most speediest car bugatti bugatti veyron you will find uh, do watch the video of bugatti veyron you will find the w16 layout in bugatti veyron v6 and v8 are used in any of the foreign cars like aston martin bentley land rover you will get a v8 like land rover bentley also you get aston martin you will get 
flat you will get in your uh, this uh, uh, boxer subaru uh, subaru engine is your engine that uses a uh, flat that is opposed piston it is also called opposed piston opposed piston opposed piston you will get this in subaru subaru uh, it is also called boxer engine boxer engine one of the most interesting engine that you will see it uh, piston will be like this the, the boxer hands like they shoot their boxing punches the piston will move like this i6 you can get in uh, any of the indian cars like maruti in uh, you, if you if you open the bonnet of your engine first uh, uh, the part you will find that the engine is straight basically all the marutis use i4 engine so there you can get in maruti maruti but see uh, main uh, difference between these two like i uh, why do we change from i to v the, there are two reason basically if you f uh, file a six cylinder in line the you, it will take space more space if you classify them into like three uh, six cylinder estate if you divide that three cylinder here three cylinder here it will become a v shape two uh, two benefits you will get uh, first benefit is that uh, you will uh, decrease the space and second benefit is that evenly distributed weight weight will come like three this side three this side. that will help your vehicle and it will reduce vibration also uh, what is the benefit of this uh, uh, flat flat engine see the more flat engine if your engine is like this flat engine means you are reducing it for example your engine is this much flat if you are making flat means you are like first uh, first your piston is here 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 if you are reduce, you are reducing this means you are uh, actually no no this is not the correct for example take case of this i engine is there it is long you are making flat means you are uh, cutting half part and uh, adding to the next part that is come that will become like a boxer type so what is the benefit of this is that your you can keep the engine at your low position of your car low position of your car means that your uh, cg uh, center of gravity of the car will be quite low it will help in cornering and most importantly that your car uh, will have a more stability so this is a benefit of a boxer engine uh, do watch uh, videos of boxer engine you can get easily so this is the layout uh, in which so next time if somebody tells this uh, my car is a i6 engine then you must know that i6 means that he is having six cylinder in his engine and the layout is the i type that is a straight type v6 means six cylinder is there but the layout is v so this uh, this is the uh, engine layout uh, i think i should conclude there uh, uh, in the next lecture i will be starting from your four stroke and two stroke the difference between four stroke and two stroke and what are the benefit of two stroke four stroke why nowadays two stroke is not used two stroke has been banned by japan in 1971 only so uh, next in lecture will continue from there thank you all mm, all the best share knowledge share success thank you